Hey guys, welcome to Sockets Tech Spot. In this video, we're going to be installing the Google Play Store on our Amazon Fire Tablet, or my Amazon Fire Tablet that I have here. Uh, this is an impromptu video, so I'm sorry if you hear the air conditioning in the back. I am not at home, so we're going to make this as quick as possible. Uh, this is almost a brand new tablet. I have uh, gotten it a few days ago, and I played around with it a little bit, so it's practically brand new. Uh, for this, we're going to need uh, two files, really. Uh, it's going to be over here, the latest Android um, the latest Android uh, drivers and uh, we're going to download the zip Android Fire 5th gen install Play Store zip and this will be uh, these will all be in the description and the two folders on top are just the extracted zip files that I have here so don't worry about those right here uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep our tablet and what I mean by that is we're just going to pretty much give ourselves a developer options here settings okay settings device options I suppose and then out oh, here, let's just hit the serial number a few times. Developer options pops up on the bottom. I hope you guys saw that. We want to enable ADB. So enable that. Uh, let's see. Is that all we need? USB computer connections. Let's uncheck that. USB debugging. No, we don't want to revoke. And I think that's all we really need here. Yeah, okay. We should already have uh, USB debugging authorized since we did that right there. So this looks good. All right, we're done here. Now let's move on to the computer. So if you haven't done so already, you could go ahead and install install the latest Android uh, drivers, and you can get that off of the Google website. So it's uh, in the description if you need the link. And uh, if you have not ever installed the Android drivers, all you have to do is plug in your device. It's going to ask you to install drivers, and from there, let's see if it'll happen if I install. I, have, I already have the. Uh, drivers installed, but I'm going to try to do it with my tablet, and if it asks us, I can show you that way. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my USB here. I have uh, messed about with phones and Android devices on this uh, computer before, so should already have drivers installed. If not, we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. So down there, it says it's installing drivers, and so far, tablet's not really doing anything. I thought it should be. So yeah, right there it does say that it uh, recognizes the device as the Fire and it says searching Windows update. So I guess it just wants to make sure it's the latest drivers for the tablet. It's done. Installing driver. Okay, and it's ready, ready to go. That was easy. So uh, over here it says Android ADB interface and that is exactly what we want. Now if you do not see this, that means you have to go back into the device and you have to change the USB options to, uh, you just have to uncheck both options. Here, let me show you. I already showed you while I was doing it, but one more time. So, virus connected to a low power charger. At least it recognizes it. Uh, allow USB debugging, and we're just gonna always allow for this computer. So, if it is not recognizing it as an ADB device, go back to your device options. Inside the developer options over here, where it says USB computer connections, just make sure both of those are unchecked, and that should solve your problem. If that does not, that means you install the drivers wrong. So now that we have that also prepped, we're just going to go ahead and uh, if you have already extracted the files for the Amazon Fire Play Store right here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to double click on this bat file. Now this bat file is going to go ahead and pretty much do the rest of it for us. Now let me see if I can zoom in here. Sorry, this is on my phone once again, but I'm doing my best. You know what? Let me see if I can stop moving this so much and just bring down the window that was a lot easier okay so let's see what we have here uh, ADB driver install no we don't need that install Google Play services uh, yes yeah, so if you haven't installed your uh, ADB drivers it's right over here so you can just hit the one and hit enter but it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and hit two and we're gonna install the Google Play Store and remove ads from the lock screen that's that's cool that they did both of those things for us <laughs> So over here it says, uh, first you must turn on ADB debugging. We already did that, so we can go ahead and move along. And of course, all credit goes to the amazing developers that do these things for us. Without them, we would not be able to uh, customize our devices the way we would like them. So it looks like there's error here, a read error. So waiting for a device. Let's see what's going on with the device here. 
nothing blatantly obvious, obviously wrong with it, but... Okay, so we have a bunch of errors there, protocol false status read. But it does say it is now installing app 2 of 4. Once again, it is giving me the status read error. Okay, so we're moving along to installing the third app here. Fire is not responding. Okay, so we're loaded back up here. And it was supposed to ask me to sign into my Google Play Store. So... I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm hoping that we solve this uh, protocol fault error that was happening. Okay, so after a quick Google search that protocol fault error uh, could be due to an ADB EXE process that is uh, in your task manager. So if you're getting that error, go into your task manager, as I am trying to demonstrate. And over here, it should have your uh, adb.exe process. Just go ahead and kill that. So I'm going to go ahead and try it now. Um, I'm not even sure if this will 100% work, but let's give it another go. The Amazon Fire is connected. ADB driver is installed. Let's do this. Okay. That looks good, as usual. And okay. More than one device and emulator. Hold on, that can't be right. Why are we getting that error? We do have the adb.exe open here. Let's close that. Is there any other instances? I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my tablet and then reconnect it. Let's try this one more time. Device found. Oh, I see. One is the emulator device. Okay, let's see if I could uh, find that emulator device. Okay, I think my blue stacks was interfering with that. Let's try this one more time. Okay, this one's taking a little longer to uh, make sense of the situation. Sorry, I wasn't in frame, but I just did the same thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so my Blue Stacks, which is an Android emulator for the PC, uh, was in fact uh, interfering with the, the program because it did recognize that uh, program as a second device uh, just because it does emulate an Android device. So if you do have an Android emulator active, you might want to close that. That caused about a half hour delay and troubleshooting just because of a, such a simple thing like that. I just close out of the program in the toolbar and here we are, it's installing uh, the first of four apps. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And this looks a lot more successful right there. It does say success, so yeah, we're, I'm happy. Are we happy? I hope you guys are happy because if you're having that issue, I just helped you out too. All right, so it looks like it's done here. Permission set and it looks like you removed ads from my lock screen. Not that I really noticed any, to be honest, but um, thanks anyway. And next we have Play Reboot Device and sign to the Play Store. So I'm gonna go ahead, unplug the fire. So now it's off. Turning it on, we're greeted with the Amazon logo from E to Z and beyond. Fire, okay, let's look and we're back. That was that was fairly quick. So it looks cleaner, I guess. But let's open it up and let's see if we notice anything off the top where it's just different. Uh, oh, there it is, the Play Store. Okay. So it might need to update. It might not. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. I have the signing in. Oh, I couldn't sign in. Why not? Oh, I'm not signing in the Wi-Fi. It looks like we got signed in. It's asking about Google services. Let's uh, continue along here. Oh my goodness. And let me see if we can reload the Play Store. Uh, we're gonna keep, uh, we don't need to be kept up to date. There it is. This is the Amazon Fire uh, tablet 2015 version with the Play Store. Let's try to download an app. Um, let's go with, let's try a game. Let's try Clash of Clans. That seems like a popular game. And there it is. It's installing. Uh, I'm gonna hit open. I'm doing it. 
Oh my. So there you have it. It looks like it's uh, loading up without any issues. Wow. Now this tablet is officially useful. Right there you can see that it is in fact working uh, with the uh, Google Play services installed. And over here you can unblock or you can go ahead and block your over the air updates from Amazon so they don't have a chance of uh, undoing your Google Play service install. Uh, also, if you do decide that you want the full Amazon experience back, you can always unblock the over-the-air updates from Amazon, and you'll have everything back to normal. Uh, th once this is a root-free way to uh, get Google Play services on your tablet, so you do not have to be rooted, which is really awesome. Um, and I hope this was useful. Uh, this was my first time doing it, so that's why we came across an error or two, which was a very simple fix. So uh, I hope you guys find this helpful. And thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.